Hi 78717 homeowners. You know, in this video, we're going to review the Avery Ranch and 78717 real estate housing market statistics, talk about what you should be paying attention to if you want to know where the market's heading and what you should be doing now if you're planning to sell it in the next six months. I'm Eric Peterson, broker and owner of Copa Real Estate and a 78717 homeowner since 2007. Let's get to the statistics. There were 45 homes that sold in 78717 in September, down 10% from September 2020 and up two sales from 43 homes sold in 2019. Average sales price of 626,920 was up 45.7% from September of 2020, but down from July's average price, which was 672,549. In part, this was because more larger homes were sold in the summer. In September, there were only three homes over 3,500 square feet that sold, compared to nine homes over 3,500 square feet that sold in July. Because fewer large homes sell in 78717 at this time of the year, when you're looking at the real estate statistics, it's important to understand your home may sell in October for a higher price than it would have sold for in September, even if the average prices are lower. Perhaps a more accurate statistic to look at is the average dollar per square foot, which was up 36.6% compared to September 2020. Now, with only 27 active homes on the market and 51 homes under contract as of October 1st, we're still in a strong seller's market. The average number of days it took for a home to go under contract in 78717 was 17 days. This was up two days from August, but still down considerably from the 30 days in September 2020. Along with the number of active homes for sale, watching how fast homes are going under contract is the second most important statistic to be watching to see where the market's going for the rest of this year and early 2022. Please remember if you have a deadline when your home has to be sold, to be sure to contact us well in advance of that date. And don't simply count 17 days plus the 30 days it normally takes from contract to close and contact us 47 days before your deadline. On average, homes in 78717 sold for 2% over the list price in September. This is down from May when homes sold on average for 16% over list price. You know, it's not surprising we've been seeing the over asking price percentages decrease as list prices have increased to more accurately reflect the current market. Sellers should know we're still in one of the best markets ever with historic sales prices, fast timelines, and motivated buyers. And for buyers, it means you have more opportunities than earlier in 2021, but you can't confuse that with the market crashing or a significant drop in prices. I had a home go under contract yesterday. Once the buyers found out it was under contract, I had several agents contact me about the house, but they're too late. You know, often buyers wait around until they know somebody else put a home under contract before they feel it's safe to make a decision, and that is a mistake. On the bottom end of the market, there were only 12 homes in 78717 that sold for $500,000 or under in September. In 2020, there were 40 homes that sold for $500,000 or below. Now, it wasn't that long ago, I used to look at home selling for under $400,000 to gauge the appreciation on the low end of the market. So in 78717, the highest price home sold was at $1,036,000 in Northwoods at Avery Ranch and the lowest type priced home sold at 315,000 and that was in Brushy Creek Village and actually sold for $65,000 over asking price. Smallest home sold was a condo in the Greens at Avery Ranch at 1,378 square feet and the largest home sold was at 4,012 square feet in Northwoods at Avery Ranch. The home that sold for $199 per square foot was a home that needed a lot of updating in the woods of Brushy Creek and the home that sold for $337 per square foot feet was a modern home in Presidio. Now, last week, a home seller in Oakbrook told me she doesn't believe anything she hears and only 10% of what she reads until she can research it herself. And that's a good policy. Before you make any plans based on the monthly statistics, let's talk about how they impact your situation. Where is the market going? If you want to know, just watch the active listings. Most real estate statistics are lagging indicators of the market. That means that the September home sales information really provides information about what was happening back in July and August when those homes went under contract. Unfortunately, by the time you see the statistics in our publications and videos, that may have already changed. So experts are divided about what we're going to see over the next year. Some say we are entering a high tax, high inflation, and high interest rate market, which may cause the bubble to burst. 
Others expect we'll continue the trend of a low inventory of homes for sale, causing prices to go up. If you want to keep up with where the market's going, watch the number of active listings. These are homes that have been put up for sale and not yet under contract. More active listings means buyers have more homes to choose from and may not make offers with a price as high as they would have if there were fewer choices. So it is important to watch the trends and how they compare to previous years. Take a look at this chart of active listings over the last three years. If you take a look at last summer, you see where the number of active listings took a nosedive and continued until this summer. So it's no wonder the market spiked when buyers only had 25% of the typical number of homes to choose from earlier this year. So the current trend shows the active listings increasing, but still well below the 2019 levels. And I'll be watching the number of active listings. In addition, I'll be paying attention to the emails and phone calls I receive from builders. Although some new homes are listed in the MLS, to a large extent, this is an inventory of homes for sale not calculated via MLS statistics. So call me if you want to know what's going on in our area on a day-by-day -day basis. If you will be selling, what can you do now? Well, there's two things you should do to be ready in case we do see a spike in active listings. That way, you'll be ready while other sellers will still be a month behind you. First is attend one of our online home selling workshops this month. Sign up at copaworkshop.com. And if you know you'll be selling your home in the next six months and we'll be helping you with your move, contact us today to put together a plan. And that would include taking green pictures while your yard and landscaping still looks great and doing any make ready at a time of the year when it's easier to schedule a handyman, etc. And prices for that make ready will be lower. I appreciate you watching and I appreciate your support. Make it a great day in 78717.